Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulya and you are watching Meshav. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Python 3.864 bit. Okay. So go ahead and launch your preferred browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome as my preferred browser. And then go to this website, python.org, which is official website for Python. And once you are here, what you need to do, you can go ahead and put your cursor here on the downloads and download it from here. But this is going to be 32-bit Python package, okay? In case if you're looking for 64-bit, then follow this link. So go ahead and click here, Microsoft Windows. It says Windows, that means Microsoft Windows. So go ahead and click on it. And then you'll get Python releases for Windows. There are two packages recommended. The latest Python 3 release, which is 3.8.0. Latest Python 2 release, which is 2.7.17. So go ahead and click here because we want to download and install 3.8. And now this is the link. Okay, this keeps changing. So whenever there is a latest Python release, it's going to be listed here on the Windows download page. Now go ahead and scroll down to this file section. And here you can download 32-bit Python package and 64-bit Python 3 package. So uh, these are Windows 64-bit Python 3 point or latest Python package. And these three at the bottom, you see these are 32-bit Python. 2.7.17 not 2 it's a 3 it's just 32 bit i'm sorry so here we are this is download for python 3.8 and this these three ones are for 64 bit at the bottom you see these are for 32 bit so because my system type is 64 bit and i want to have 64 bit python 3.8 to be installed so I'm going to download this executable installer. You can go with web-based installer or embeddable zip file as well if you want to port it to other system. So there's no difference. You can go with any web-based or executable one. I'm going to save it on my desktop. So you can select the folder location where you want to save this uh, executable 64 with Python 3.8. By default, on most of the systems, it's going to be downloads, okay? But I've changed it to desktop. Now I'm going to say save, and this is going to take some time. So it did not take a long time. What I need to do, I need to go ahead and locate it. So let's go ahead and look for this executable package on desktop. So if it's on, if you haven't changed the location, these download save location it could be in the uh, downloads folder so you can simply go ahead and check in the downloads folder on my system it's on the desktop so i've got two basically these are the same thing just i had one in downloaded to save time but it did not take long enough to download this package so what do you need to do i can go ahead and delete one of these so what you need to do basically go ahead and double click to start the installation process or right click and then open it okay so i'm going to say i'm going to double click on it and then you may get this windows microsoft windows store kind of pop-up thing it it says the app you're trying to install isn't from microsoft verified app store so basically they want you to install everything everything from their app store and that is going to be secure. That's what they're trying to say. However, let's go ahead and say install anyway. Now, here comes the very important part. You can see this is install Python 3.8.064 bit. What you need to do basically, don't forget it. Just check this box. Add Python 3.8 to path. This means if you don't, check this box you will not be able to execute python files packages anywhere from the system and it will be not recognized from the command prompt as well okay 
So what you need to do now, go ahead and check this box. And then if you wish, you can customize it. So go ahead and click here if you want to customize. If you do not need certain things here, you can just uncheck it like documentation. Okay, and then go back and hit install now. You will get a user account control window, say yes. Here we are, it should not take a long time. It's a very small, I think 25 MB size package, the Windows 3.8. It keeps increasing and they keep adding the features to this wonderful programming language. So it's almost done here. Alrighty, so the setup was successful. Now you can go ahead and close it. Here we go. Now let's go ahead and launch the uh, Microsoft Windows command prompt and try to check if we already have Python. So Python space hyphen and then V in uppercase and you'll get Python 3.8. If you just type Python, it will give you interactive shell and here you can type something like hello Python. Python hopes sorry guys and then hit run now let's quickly go ahead and create a Python file and run it so I'm going to create a new document here okay and then just let, let's just open it and simply say print Hello world from oops Python file. Now let's go ahead and save as okay. You have to save as and then change this to all files and then say hello.py and then hit save. Now to just execute it, if you have something like pi pi charm this is an ID which I recommend if you need PyCharm go ahead and watch my other video where I show you how to download and install PyCharm to run it simply go ahead and launch your command prompt and change the directory to wherever you have this file hello.py and then say python hello.py and hit enter now this is going to execute this file so this is how you download and install python uh, and check the python version at the same time how this is how you execute any specific python file you, with command prompt on microsoft windows 10. so that's it thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day bye for now